What is going on, Yankee fans? It is New York Sports Hub here, and I am back at it with a, another New York Yankees video, and I got three words to say. What the... You know what? What the hell just happened? You have a 7-2 lead in the bottom of the ninth. You're three outs away from a win. Herman gives up an infield hit and then a double. They take him out. They bring in Chad Green. And Chad Green gets one out and gives up, what, six runs? Four of them were unearned, but you know what I mean. Six runs and got one out. And that one out he got was a line drive that was caught by Labor Torres. He got one out. What the hell just happened? I mean, you were three outs away from a sweep, you have a five-run lead, and you give it up. I don't understand this team. You, you were dominating a really good Astros team the whole series, and you just give it up. And, and it was so fast, too. It, like, happened in the blink of an eye. This is why you never, ever turn the TV off until the game is over when it comes to the Yankees, because they always blow it late in the game. Why do they do this? Why do they torture a fan base so much? I don't understand. This has been a nightmare season for the New York Yankees. It has been a nightmare season, and I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot wait for Giants football. Giants football. I cannot wait. And I'm, I'm not saying I want the Yankees to miss the playoffs, but I am also kind of am, because this has been a torturous season. We've had so much ups and downs all year. And we've, we've played back-to-back -back really good series. And this and this was a game the Yankees played well in. The offense did a good job. Tyone pitched really well. Herman did a good job out of the pen. And they lost. And they lost the game. And now, the Yankees lose all their momentum going into the second half of the season. Because this is a crushing loss. That is really hard to get over. Even though we have a few days off, I understand that. But still, it's a very tough loss to get over. Do you know how... Do you, do you know the position the Yankees could have been in going into the second half? We could have been 47-42, and 42, a few, only like two games out of the wild card spot. And not in, I think we, we would have been in third place, only seven games behind Boston, and like six behind the Rays, and they blow it in the ninth inning. Up five freaking runs. You've got to be kidding me. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I mean... You play a great series. You play a phenomenal series overall. The offense did a really good job. You know, the Yankees took an early lead. They went up 1-0 on the Glaber RBI single. It might have been ruled an error, but you know what I mean. You had an RBI, Yankees up 1-0. And then the Astros tied it up on the solo shot, 330-foot home run, whatever. It was 1-1. And then the Yankees went up, what, 3-1? They took... They had the uh, the solo home run by Tim LaCastro, which was awesome, and then they, they took a 2-1 lead, and then we had the, took a 3-1 lead on an RBI single by Glaber, his second RBI of the game. Yankees up 3-1. They had first and third, no one out, and they didn't score after that. I thought that was huge, but still, I'm not blaming the offense. They came back to score more runs, of course. Then, Tucker hit a solo bomb. He crushed it. Made it a 3-2 game. Bad pitch by Tyone, but he came back to get McCormick out and ended the inning. So a solid six innings by Jameson Tyone. Back-to-back -back starts where Tyone's been great. That's promising. But I don't know what to say. The bullpen blew it. So I, I, can't, I can't really be happy about his start because we didn't win the game, you know? And then the offense breaks it open. Four, we, we, took, we take a 4-2 lead on the RBI hit by Geo. Huge insurance run. And then in the eighth inning, or the seventh inning or whatever, Gary Sanchez hits a three-run shot into the Crawford boxes, and we're up 7-2. I thought the game was over at that point. I thought that was the I thought that's where we broke the ice. We go bottom nine. Like I said, Chad Green gets just one measly out and gives up a three run shot to, you guessed it, Jose Altuve. Of course of of course it had to be him, right? It had to be him. That's what it's like to be a Yankee fan. That is the pain of being a New York Yankees fan. You play a great series and you still don't sweep. Against Houston. Now I get they didn't have two of their players, two of their better hitters with Bregman and Correa, but still, it just puts a sour taste in your mouth going into the All-Star break. I, 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 I don't know what to say right now. I really don't. This was this loss really took put me down on this team. Maybe that's a good thing, so I don't get my hopes up, but still, this has been, I don't think this is a playoff team. I, I really don't. That's why I said, you know, after the Seattle series and after the Houston series, they probably should be a playoff team. But they find ways to lose. They find ways to lose these, some of these games this season. And that is what's going to cost them the playoffs. That's what's going to cost them. Because 
They blow big leads. That There's little things that they should do in some games, but they don't do it. That is what teams who, I wouldn't say bad, but just aren't as good as they should be. That's what those kind of teams do. They find ways to lose games. You have a chance to sweep Houston, and you don't. The 2019 Yankees would sweep this, would sweep Houston. I don't care if the bullpen's taxed. You close out a 7-2 game. There is no excuses to blow that. The Yankees teams that were good would close out this series. I am so disappointed. I am so disappointed. I am so ashamed. I'm so embarrassed because, of course, it just had to be Jose Altuve. It had to be. It had to be with all the trolling we did with the shirt and whatnot, you know, you know, with, you know with the tattoo jokes and whatnot. Of, of course, he had to hit the walk-off to win the game. This does not feel like a series win. This game potentially could be the season for the Yankees because you're you're in a much different position now. You're in a much different position, you know. The bullpen just isn't as good as I thought it was. You know, the bullpen's just not as good as I hoped it to be. The bullpen was loaded. I thought it would be the best bullpen in baseball. Apparently, it's really overrated. It's really overrated. We need Zach Britton back. We need him in the worst way. We need Michael King and Darren O'Day, whenever they get back, we need them back on the team, too, because I, I, I can't... I, I like Domingo Herman, but, you know, he's not a guy I, you know, I really trust out of the pen. He, he, he pitched well. I'm not... I, I, I shouldn't say that. He pitched well, but still, I don't trust him, you know? And, and Chad Green is just, just a very inconsistent reliever. He has outings where he's dominant, and he's nasty, and he's untouchable, and he has outings like this where he has absolutely nothing. I don't know if he was tired, but he didn't pitch yesterday because goal went the distance, so he didn't pitch. He went two innings a few days ago, but I mean, isn't it one day off enough for a reliever to be rested? I, I don't understand. I, I don't know what, what happened to Jack Green today. I, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know why it has to be this way for the Yankees. I don't know why. I don't know what we did to deserve this torture year in and year out. Because the past two years have just been a nightmare for the Yankees. We had a 33-27 and 27 season last year. And we, and this year, we're 46-43. We're and 43. That's not good enough. That's just not good enough. I, I don't know what to say about this team. I really don't. Because the sad thing is the Yankees played well today, and they still found a way to lose. I, I, I'm out of words. I'm speechless. I, I, I can't say I really hate this team because, and I do hate this team, but they played well this series. This was a phenomenal series. This was the best series they played all year. They had a chance to sweep, and we didn't sweep. We blew it in the ninth. Chad Green, I mean, what a garbage performance by him. That, that was terrible. Um, Tyone, again, pitched really well, six innings, two runs, he was good, he was really, really good, I thought, and, uh, the offense was, was, was solid, Sanchez with the big home run, I was so pumped after that, but, of course, that's, that's what the 2021 Yankees are, they ruin your mood, and that's what they did. Thanks a lot, Yankees, we, we had a chance to sweep, going into the All-Star break, that would have been such a great feeling to sweep Houston, but, of course we don't, of course we don't, this team doesn't like making the fans happy, so, you know, why should the fans you know, waste their time watching them, because they, it's obvious they don't, they don't really care about us, so, that's going to do it for this video, if you're as discreet, if you're, if you're as just disgusted as me about this game, drop a like, subscribe, uh, you know, put your thoughts on the game down in the comment section below, if you want to rant on Aaron Boone, Chad Green, whatever, I don't think this was Aaron Boone's fault, but Chad Green's got to come in and get three outs, but, of course he couldn't, of course he couldn't, um, it just it just felt like it was it just felt like it was scripted, you know. It felt like this was staged that, you know, Green can't get outs, and you know he gets Maldonado to line out, and then Altuve is the guy to walk it off. It 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 felt like it was a movie, because that's that's all you get as a Yankee. That's all you get as a Yankee fan the past few years. Just heartbreak, heartbreak, pain, and suffering, and just like one game they they look like they're gonna maybe get into the playoffs, and then. They fall back to reality again, and I'm sure they'll play a good series against the Red Sox and maybe bring us back in to convince us that maybe they're a team that could make the playoffs, but I, I just don't know. I, this this has been such a weird year. It's been such a bad year for the Yankees. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. I don't know if they're if they're consistent enough. They find ways to lose games a lot, so I, I don't know what to say. It was a good series overall. Offense was, was good today, but of course they had to blow it because that's what the 2020, 2021 New York Yankees have done. Just awful. Talk to you guys tomorrow.